All right, all right. Welcome back, guys. Oh, man, that last tutorial was just crap. But uh, welcome to your 29th tutorial again. Thanks for watching, subscribing, doing all that great stuff that you guys do. I appreciate it. And now we're going to keep just con keep continuing with the Google uh, Maps setup, just the basic stuff. You know, it's uh, we aren't going to actually develop anything yet. We're just getting things set up here. So you're going to have to go to this website, uh, code.google.com forward slash Android forward slash maps that uh, minus sign. I don't know exactly what those things are called. Dash. No, not dash. Whatever. You know, this website, I'll put it in the, in the description. And you also need to have a Google account like Gmail, you know, whatever, some kind of Google account. So if you don't have one, you're going to have to sign up for one just to use the maps. Again, um, just part of the rules. And uh, you should still have your fingerprint. And that's what you're going to need to get this set up. So as always, you know, you just want to read through this stuff and... I'm just going to read through it real quick. Done with it. I agree with all those terms. And now I just have to enter my fingerprint uh, down here to generate the... Oh, man. This is going to be crazy. To generate uh, the... The API that I'm going to need. So, just type in what your, uh, what your fingerprint was. Mine is going to be B3... D. There's got to be an easier way to do this, like copy and paste or something. Let's try that. No, I don't know. All right, DD31. Again, this is just what whatever yours generated. It should be all different. And then once you get that all typed in, just hit generate. And basically, this is going to be our own little code that we can use. You guys feel the power of Google Maps in your app. Google Maps in your app. What? What? And I should probably pursue a rap career. Um, but basically now we can use these codes and all this great stuff in, in our application. So we're just going to again, uh, set this up. Or actually we're going to go into our layouts main. And then we're just going to delete this text view real quick and just copy what the code gave us wherever that went. No, not that one. All right. Okay. And basically now we can, uh, this is just going to fill the whole width. It won't give us like kind of a sweet little preview of what it's going to do. But she's going to fill the width and all that great stuff. The other thing that we need to do is um, go into our manifest and set up some other sweet stuff that we can use. Um, like our permissions and all that other awesome great stuff. Wow. Alright. Anyway, so under your application, we're going to say we need to use some uh, libraries. So, whoa, still got my caps lock on. All right, so uses library. The library that we're going to use is Android um, name equals Google or com dot Google dot Android Maps. And then we're just going to end this bracket. Again, this is right on the applications. And this is basically where we set our permissions to. And we're going to need to use the, the internet permission. So I'm just going to show you a different way that you guys can use that uh, besides, you know, whatever. So we're going to say uh, use this permission. And then we have all these permissions that we can use. So we're going to look for the internet one. Right there. And hit enter. 
then we can check our Android manifest and it is right here so now we can um, get set up here to actually do some developing with the Google Maps and that's probably going to be the end of this video sorry it's real quick but uh, again thanks for watching see you guys later peace